What's up everybody? Welcome back to Mike's Tool Shed. Big announcement. Huge announcement. Well, for me anyway, I think it's huge. I'm, uh, I'm actually a little nervous about this. I don't know how this is going to go over, but hear me out. Um, first, real quick, this is um, the first video I'm doing on my new camera, the G7X. I was playing with some footage earlier and I think it is pretty damn good. I think the audio is better. Uh, I think it's, the picture's a lot clearer, a lot, um, I don't know, a lot more contrast. The only thing is the autofocus is a little slow. I don't think anything beats a cell phone camera though, as far as how fast the autofocus is, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. So, the, uh, the big announcement. Okay, well, I got uh, an email uh, about a month ago from a big, big company. And uh, so big that I thought it was fake at first. I thought somebody was screwing with me. I was like, hey, look at that. They got the, uh, they faked the email address and they wrote it all professional. And I read it a couple times and I'm like, okay, I'll respond to it and see, let's see what, how, where this goes. And it was, it was legit. There was no, uh, it wasn't fake. So, um, they, this company invited me into this tool review program and, uh, I asked a lot of questions. I was like, you know, I'm not like the, 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 you know, the channels that have deals with all of the brands, and they just like, oh, pull, oh, look at this, man, oh, that's a good ratchet. All right, cool. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. You know, and it's, they don't even, they they like just see the thing for the first time, hit record, and then spew, spew out a video and send it off. You know, and that's not what I do at all. It's not even close not what I ever intended to do. I didn't want to do commercials for, for, for products. I've received products for review, but I've been totally honest about it. And I've never, um, you know, I've never really had any, any obligation or anything this big of a deal. So, um, I'll just tell you the the company was the Home Depot. Yeah. <laughs> I was surprised too. I was very surprised. That's why I thought it was a joke. Um, yeah, Home Depot Sent, reached out to me and they they wanted me they invited me into this program called the the prospective program it's a year-long program they're gonna send me tools throughout the year I don't get to pick anything I have no idea what this stuff's gonna be I kind of have an idea I did ask I'm like what is this all rigid and husky in Ryobi and they're like no no this is like from that up to uh, Milwaukee and and DeWalt and the top brands like it's it's all over the place hand tools power tools and, uh, you know, I asked a lot more questions. Uh, you know, I was like, you know, this isn't what I do. This this is kind of, um, you know, out of, it's way out of character for, for, for me and my channel, I guess. You know, I never tried to poise myself to get this. I never, I didn't email them, you know. They, they invited me to it. So, I just wanted everybody to know that there's going to be Home Depot sponsored Mike's Tool Shed videos. God damn, that sounds weird. Um... <laughs> But uh, I just didn't want to just all of the sudden have like, a, oh, this is a paid promotion in the in the description, and then uh, people be like, whoa, what the, what the hell? When did he start doing this? Unsubscribe, you know. Like I wanted everybody to know what the hell was going on, what my thought process was in, in accepting this, and what I can and can't do. What I can't do is like, they pretty much nothing. There's nothing. They 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 didn't really restrict me in any way, and that's why I accepted it. I can give it a completely honest review, critique it, um, which is okay because I don't think Home Depot sells anything that's like a complete piece of crap. Um, I've bought tools all over the quality spectrum there, and I've never really had a, I've never been really unhappy with anything. They're careful about the brands that they sell in the stores, and I, I have all the flexibility in the world. I, I can still do the exact same videos that I always do, just with a partnership with Home Depot and which yeah that sounds crazy but um I promise you nothing's going to change um they're, they're probably they're, I'm going to tone the language down they didn't tell me that I couldn't do that it was never really brought up but as a res as res for respect out of them I'm I am representing them I'm going to tone it down a little bit I don't have to but I think it's unprofessional and I'm just I'm just not going to do it I'm just uh you know, it's it's unnecessary, and uh, you know, in my own videos, I'll just say whatever the hell I want. But if it's a Home Depot video, that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be dropping f bombs the whole time. 
I don't know how many of my videos they watched. <laughs> I almost thought it was a mistake. Like, man, I'm going to get right up to the one point, and I'm going to go through some final vetting, and they're going to be like, whoa, whoa, why, how, did, how did this guy get invited? Who invited Mike's tool shed? <laughs> like, but no, like, uh, I don't know how much research they did, but um, I don't know. So that's maybe the only difference, and I think anybody would kind of do the same thing. I, it's 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 not like I, they told me I can't, but it's going to be frowned upon, you know. So, but I'm going to still do the exact same reviews. Be completely honest with everything. I just wanted everybody to know where I was coming from, why I accepted it, and uh, and what the things are to come. The first thing to come, and why I'm doing this today or tonight, is. Uh, the first, the kickoff to the event, it's a year-long thing, kickoff to it is in New York City. I'm leaving for New York Monday morning, and uh, Monday, I get in, get into the hotel, I have all day to do whatever the hell I want, which is really cool, because I've been to New York a bunch of times, but I've never just had a day to do whatever I wanted. I always, like, went there, went and did something, and came right back home. It's not too far, it's like four hours away, uh, but I've never just had a day to do whatever I want, so I'm excited about that. Day two is a vendor event at the Facebook headquarters in New York. And I looked up this place, and they actually, Facebook designed this place as a, play, uh, a venue for companies to host events. So it's not like just walking around the Facebook offices like, hey, Zuck, what's up, man? No, it's like they have like auditoriums and, uh, you know, like staging areas and stuff like that. So all, you know, I think I imagine like Milwaukee, DeWalt, you know, the big tool companies that all have reps there with their colored shirts and name tags and stuff. And I'll get to talk to them and ask them about their new stuff and they'll show me their new stuff. And I think that's how day two is going to go. And then day three, I know the location and it's at some... Uh, I think it's at like a really super, like one of the nicest condo buildings in New York. I'm not sure, but I looked it up and it just, it looks like a condo building. So maybe we're going to be using some tools on day three. Not hundred percent sure there. I didn't, I don't I have the itinerary, but I don't have like a lot of details. So I'm going to be filming for this whole thing. I'm probably going to do updates if I can. Uh, if I'm allowed, I'm going to do some live streams. Look out for some live streams while I'm walking around this place. Maybe I'll run into somebody cool. Uh, who knows? Who I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, I just know where and when I got to be where I got to be. So, um, And then I'll film a bunch and then bring all that footage on home and edit it and make a like kickoff event video. And then don't know what the hell is going to happen after that. So that's it. I wanted everybody to know that before it starts... So, you know, like I said, I mean, people go, what the, what the hell, when did he start doing that? When he started dealing with Home Depot? I didn't know that. Just full disclosure, transparency, um, just bear with me. I don't know if that was the right thing to say. Just keep an open mind about it. Um, I had to keep an open mind to actually um, consider accepting the invitation to the event. So, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be really good. Um, I don't think too much is going to change. I'm just going to have different tools um, that's just provided by Home Depot, so don't don't hate, appreciate. <laughs> just wish me luck, and uh, like I said, if this doesn't turn out good, then I'll never do anything like this again, but I'm very optimistic about it, and it sounds like a good opportunity, so stick with me, and let's see, let's see what happens, so that's it. Thanks for watching.